This video is sponsored by Canto. How do I format all emails and URLs? So this is my list of emails that are allowed. I got this off of, you know, like, what are legitimate emails that you could have? I don't know anybody that's ever had a colon in an email or, or in a URL like this, so I've just got all sorts of things. But then I threw some things down at the bottom. So for instance, like I have parentheses, so that might be an issue. Um, I was thinking, oh, well, you know, a lot of people say, well, it's a character with a period followed by a character. And I'm like, yes, which is usually not a thing, except in emails and URLs, but also what about AM, PM? You know, put spaces between that. So that is character, period, character. So I had to build in something that kept that out. Also, I wanted to be able to get the, um, my email when it's inside a bracket or inside a parenthesis, but I don't want that either. And then, oh, here's Bob. But some people say, oh, you just do it because it's .com and you could do an either or, .com, .net, you know, .biz. I'm like, there's way too many domain names now. Like, you can't use that anymore. You know, you'd have to know all of them. But also I thought, well, what if it's bbc.co.uk? That's too many. So again, I had to make something a little more uh, inclusive. And you'll see the first one I do, if I put, let's put some, um, a price in here. Again, that's characters on either side of that period, but I wouldn't want that to be found, right? So let's go ahead, I'm gonna just zoom out here, and I'm going to do find change, and I'm gonna delete everything that's here, and I'm gonna come down here and, no. Let's get my best one that's here, super duper, is that the one? Is it super duper or just super? Let's try this one. Super duper, that looks right. Let's just say, change all in this story. It changed all of those. Thank you. <laughs> so look what it didn't do. We're not gonna worry about this. Who has, who has that at the end of their URL? I, for the life of me, cannot write one that includes that, but also lets me exclude these. Um, so it does fit all that. It doesn't find AM, PM, so that's good. It does find that. But what I can do is I can come in here and I can say when it doesn't, I think I have to do it. I may be wrong with this, but we'll, we'll give it a try and see. When it does not follow a dollar sign. So does not, so that's negative. Negative look behind for a dollar sign. which I need to escape. Let's try that. Okay, let's undo there. Let's say change all again and see if it gets it. There, it didn't change it. So I told it, so, so that at least gets the dollar sign taken care of, so if it doesn't find that. Now, so it didn't even mess up anything here with this URL that has a dollar sign in it. It didn't include the dollar sign down here. It lets me do just my emails in here. Now, just quickly, we'll look at this. So obviously, that was just for the dollar sign. The backslash Bs are for the word boundary because I want to keep them together. I'm saying in group number one is anything that is not a space because the one thing there isn't in URLs and emails is a space, right? So I know that anything that is not a space, now again, could this be too inclusive? Absolutely it could, but I was doing a list of URLs and emails. Um, you'll just have to keep adding to it. Anything that is not a space two or more times followed by a period, followed by anything that is not a space two or more times. So I don't even need multiple periods, but I know that consistently there will be a period, at least one period, in a URL and an email. And then the, border, the, the word borders here. That I put this backslash, the backslash asterisk, meaning may or may not be there at the end, because these weren't included. If I put them inside here for whatever reason, it isn't there, so I had to like tack it on the end, and I thought, oh, that's what I'll do for this closing uh, parenthesis. But if I do that, then it includes those down there as well. So again, it was just one of those things where I'm like, well, I got most of them. Some of them I'll just have to fix manually or whatever. But that to me has worked pretty well, but it may, again, be too inclusive and grab things that you don't, don't want it to grab.
Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.